What's going on everyone? Um, on Clubhouse today I brought up that we, um, last night for the first time in a while, actually had to type out a request to remedy for a buyer client of mine. Um, and I've done it before, you know, on, on deals over the last year, year and a half, but you know, they're not as common and typically they weren't as extensive as the one that I wrote um, last night for my client. So, um, you know, I just brought up the topic of you know, writing out your request to remedies as a buyer's agent representing the uh, buyer, you know, what was the best practice? Do you typically get a little, bit, a little bit more specific on your request to remedies or do you just kind of refer to the uh, inspection uh, report? And obviously everyone has their own ways as far as writing it out, but you know, it was an interesting conversation around do you ask the sellers to fix the, uh, these items prior to closing? Are you one that tries to get credit so that way your client can take care of it their way after closing? Um, and it was just interesting to hear everyone's, uh, you know, uh, opinion on the best way. Um, and Rannon um, is is one that likes to do a lot of credits because you know when a seller's trying to sell a home, they're they're probably going to pick the cheapest option to get the work done or try to do the work themselves. And that makes total sense, right? Um, you know, having the buyer to, the buyer's gonna want it their way and, you know, just kind of put that responsibility on them post-closing. But also uh, thought was, you know, around, you know, just liability and things in the future, right? Let's just say you're negotiating for the sellers to fix those items. Um, well now, you know, if the buyers didn't choose who did it, um, you know, they may be calling you, uh, you know, or was it someone that you referred? and all of these other things as far as um, post-closing potential uh, issues that may come up. So, you know, I liked her idea and her stance around, you know, just trying to get the credits because then, you know, it's really on the buyer's plate, you know, post-closing. Um, they can pick whoever they want, um, you know, get your quotes ahead of time so you kind of know exactly what, what it's going to take uh, in order to, to, um, to get those items fixed. But also, too, you know, remember, you know, as a listing agent, if you have a home warranty in place with, with listings coverage, there may be some of those items that come up in a remedy that may be covered by a home warranty if you have that listings coverage in place, as well as sometimes home inspectors have services and things available that will give you an idea or give your buyer an idea of what um, estimated quotes would be. I know the one that we use here in Columbus, Linkhorn, they actually have um, a service that you can send your report to and they will give you a estimated breakdown of, of items, um, you know, the repair items and what the cost will be based off of a general contractor that, um, you know, they have a, a partnership and agreement with. So, you know, there's other services and things that you guys can be providing your clients. And, you know, I just thought it was an interesting topic, obviously, with the way the, the markets, um, you know, transitioning a little bit, things are slowing down. We're probably going to start seeing a lot more requests to remedies and, you know, from a listing agent standpoint, uh, navigating those conversations with our sellers and, and the contractors and lining all of those things up. And from the buyer's agent standpoint, you know, what's the best way to proceed when um, you do have some of those, those deal breaker items that the buyers do want to have addressed, you know, either prior to closing or post closing. Um, so if you guys, um, you know, have any thoughts on that, please drop them in the comments. would love to hear from you and, uh, hope you have a great day.